Hey, welcome to Wine Jam with me, some cash. Uh, new in town, you might recognize him. I'm sure you have. Uh, he has his own wine channel. It's UTB. It is Michael from Norway. Hi, guys. It's great to have you here. Yeah, it's great to be here, man. Yeah. London. Uh, exciting. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit exciting because it's going to rain. But apart from that, as exciting as it gets, um, I'm going to ask you a question. Are you ready for this? Shoot. A little bit of an issue. Shoot, don't care. <laughs> All right. If someone had one day to learn about wine, what would you ask them to do? Grape varieties. Learn the basics and elements of the grape varieties, their abilities. Because even though you taste the wine from New Zealand, you taste the same grape variety in uh, in, in Loire, it's going to be a lot of similarities, but different. Learn those. Okay, wow. All right, that was really to the point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of surprised. I thought you might go read lots of books, and go to this place. But yeah, that's actually a very good point. Grape varieties is a great starting place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you're from Norway. Yeah. What is wine culture like in Norway? Uh, honestly, a lot of people are just drinking a lot of entry-level wines, looking for the, the, the values and the cheaper wines. They're not really getting up on that uh, high-end level. Uh, and that's kind of my job also to uh, make them look into other things and maybe pay that uh, 10 kroner five pounds more than what they would usually do. Okay. Yeah. That sounds similar to, to my situation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, we are a beer nation, yeah. basically. Okay. And so. they're trying to change that kind of ideology. Oh, yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. You ready for this YouTube thing? This is a big one. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. So, what are your top three wines? And what are your bottom three wines? Okay, oh, yeah. let's start with top three. Okay. Dolvieras, any kind of vintage, uh, Terrantes, if you're lucky enough to get that kind of stuff. Oh. We're talking sweet Madeira. Gosh, it's, it's like, it's heaven on earth. Um, and okay. uh, Check it out. Champagnes, I tend to love the style of crude, uh, more mature and developed kind of champagnes. And expensive. Uh, and expensive, not. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Um, there's yeah, so much about data when you think about it. Fair enough. But then again, you have to pay for that quality. Last but not least, a underdog, Rosé, uh, Turiga Nacional, 100% Portugal, Quinta do Pertugo, Pertigoa, something like that. All right. I don't know how to pronounce it. Let's put it down in the uh, <laughs> put it description down below. <laughs> uh, those are great. I'm talking about uh, more depth body, intensity, fruit, and those kind of uh, rosés. Okay. So I like that. And your bottom three? The worst ones! I don't want to slam anyone, <laughs> but I have to. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Jeez. Put me on the spot. Yeah, man. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I love you. Uh, Black Tower, uh, Gato Negro, freaking Mateus the original. <laughs> I, I can't disagree with most of those. I don't drink these kind of... <laughs> Guys, thanks for Thank watching you. our video. Uh, please like down below uh, if you like our videos and we will be having more content, which you can click here and here of the videos that we've done already. Or you can also subscribe just here by clicking here. Exactly, so we hope you see more of our wine content because we love You'll it. You'll love it as well, I promise. On that note, cheers. Cheers. See, see you guys soon. soon. <laughs> mm. <laughs>